What's going on you guys? My name is Ben Cannon and today we're going to be installing Willwood's Classic Series Dynalite front brake kit along with their new tandem brake master cylinder on my 1965 Mustang. So if you guys don't already know, I'm collaborating with Willwood on this and it's really cool we were able to make this happen. I'm filming a couple of videos for them and they're setting me up with their brake kit. And in, all this stuff looks super nice. It's really weird seeing it being made in the factory and then seeing the finished product in your hands. Like that's a really cool experience. Before we get started, I want to let you guys know that I'll put all the information about this brake kit in the description of this video, just so you guys have that. And if you have any questions, let me know. I'm happy to help. With that being said, I'm going to jack up my car, remove the front brakes, down to the bare spindle. I'm so happy I'm finally replacing these studs. They are so bad. I had to re-thread my lug nuts because of these. So I think I'm gonna call it a wrap for today. Kinda of started later in the day, but I guess it's a good stopping point. Got off the old brakes. They weren't that hard to take off. Only a couple bolts kinda of surprised me and they came right off. So I'm gonna clean this one up a little bit more and get it all ready for tomorrow. And then hopefully tomorrow I'll put on the new brakes. The only thing that kinda of sucked today was that the little nut at the end of the um, brake lines was stripped. So I think I'm gonna have to buy new ones, which is kind of a bummer. So hopefully that all works out because I wanna get this thing back on the road. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. So just to update you guys, it's the next day now. I had to go to the store, pick up some high temperature grease because all the grease we had was for drum brakes because my dad doesn't own anything with discs. So I had to get that. And then I picked up some gloves because I destroyed my hands yesterday. I thought I could get away with it, but I wasn't able to. <laughs> so now I'm gonna grease up the wheel bearings and put on the new brakes. So now that I got the rotors installed, I'm going to clean them off with brake cleaner because they're really dirty and greasy. But what I noticed is that the Willwood calipers are so much lighter than the stock ones. Like picking this up is like, oh my god, but this, I could hold this all day. <laughs>
So I just finished up installing the caliper and it looks amazing. I can't wait to take this car in a spin. But before that, I'm gonna lower it down, remove the old master cylinder and put in the new one. So now I'm going to bench bleed the master cylinder and put it on the car. So I just got done installing the master cylinder on my car. So now I'm gonna use the proportioning valve that was on my car in addition to a residual valve that Wibble gave me since I have drums in the back. But one day if I ever decide to do disc brakes, I'll just take this off and I'll be good to go. So I just finished plumbing the brake lines on the master cylinder and it was the most painful thing I've ever done. I'm never doing it again, but I'll probably have to do it again in the future. But just because there's no room in the engine bay here, it's just brutal, like I, <laughs> it's bad. But now that that's done, it's time to bleed the brakes. So I'm gonna have my dad pump the brakes while I bleed them. So, <laughs> what's up, Aaron? <laughs> hey, how's it going? So I think I just finished. This project has taken me a long time just because I'm filming and it's been hot out and things have not been going to plan. It's a nightmare, like old parts break and the new parts don't wanna work with them and then you have to replace them, it takes a long time. And it's just so hot out here, like California, late August, early September, it's brutal. But I think we're done, just blood the brakes. So now I just gotta drive around a little bit, see if they're working, check for leaks and then bed in the brakes, so I'll bring you along with that. All right guys, we're about to go around the block. I'm a little nervous. I'm pretty sure there aren't any leaks, but this little drive around will be looking for leaks afterwards so we're gonna feel how the pedal feels and hopefully nothing goes wrong but if it does it's on camera and we'll probably make for a pretty good video right my engine braked down the street so here's our first real stop at the stop sign seems to stop really good it feels great to drive my car if you it's like you experience your car so much more when you don't drive it and then you just drive it for a couple days of the week, you feel everything. It feels awesome. But we'll pull it back in the driveway, look for any leaks. All right, we made it all safe. All right, so now I'm gonna take my car back on the streets and bed in the brakes, so wish me luck. So right now I'm just gonna generate a little bit of heat in the brakes, so I'm just gonna get barely on it for five seconds and then I'm gonna get off of it for like 10 seconds.
All right, so now we're gonna get up to 55 miles per hour and then bring it down to 25, and we're gonna do that like eight to 10 times. We're yeah. using his app right now because I don't have a speedometer. All right. God, these brakes work so much better. Does it? I mean, after this is done, this whole process, then we'll know the truth. Yeah. But from getting on it that hard, yeah, it felt really good. Compared well, to you're gonna. Have, I mean, once you get it, the proportion valve worked out. Too. Oh yeah, <laughs> the proportion valve's not even ready. So I just got back from bedding in the brakes. So I'm gonna let the car sit for a couple hours and let them cool off because they're pretty hot. And there's a lot of other minor things like I need to mess with the proportion valve and. You know just dialed in so that's what I'm gonna be doing the next couple of days but I'm gonna end the video here since it's kind of getting long but I'll update you guys on how the car is doing in the next video or so but thanks again to Wilwood for making this happen it's awesome it was a lot of work a lot of pain but it feels good that it's all done so thanks for watching I know I've been lagging on making videos it's been crazy with school and getting used to that schedule but hopefully I'll get used to it and we'll start making content more often I've been MIA but I'll see you guys next time